Yo, what's up guys? This is Rig 400 HS by Plantronics. It is an officially licensed PlayStation headset and I'm gonna unbox it. By the way, I've been getting kind of sick lately and my voice might sound different. And I might sound a little more boring today. In the box, we get the microphone and it also looks like the manual and the quick start guide. No stickers with this one. It comes with a separate microphone, but there's no wind muffler. The headphones look really cool. I got the camo colorway. Oh, it looks so nice. The ear cups and the headband, they're both cushioned and they're made out of fabric. This is the remote that controls the mic and the volume. You can mute and unmute from right here. And there's a slider. I've never seen one of these. It's cool. There's a slider to control the volume. And on the back, it says rig. The cable is 1.3 meters long. Let's go ahead and connect this unidirectional mic. That's good for gaming because it's not going to pick up audio from anywhere else besides your mouth. It's very easy to set it up. It goes in both ways, it looks like. Okay. That's pretty cool. So to adjust it, there's no slider. I didn't even think about that, but there are three locks that you can put it in. And yeah, there's it's just three. You can't put it in this part right here. So one, two, three, it's very easy to set it up and pretty easy to take it out as well. It might be a little more tedious compared to a slider. The design is very unique. Like the name, this is like a rig. So I can buy another frame, I'm thinking, and just attach it if I want a different colorway. The ear cups are made out of plastic and these are over the ear ear cups. They don't go against your ears. They have a really cool design on them. It's striped lines. This is how the headset looks on my head. It's lighter than the AG6, the Kraken, and the other one I reviewed. This is the lightest headset I've reviewed. It's very comfortable. I feel like I can wear these for hours without feeling any fatigue in my head or my ears. And they're very easy to take off. And they also are noise isolating ear cups. It's great for gaming. This headset is equipped with a sensitive 40 millimeter drivers and they don't sound bad. The bass is there. Everything sounds pretty good. It doesn't get that loud. It is at, it has a mediocre volume level, I'd say. And this has a frequency response of 100 to 10 Hertz and a sensitivity down until negative 45 decibels. Overall, this headset sounds good. It sounds better than the Kraken for sure. It has, it gets louder and has much richer bass and lower acoustic that provides low frequency emphasis without any distortion. But compared to the AG6, this is almost as loud as the AG6. It's like, the AG6 is like just a little bit louder. Well, right now I'm gonna do a quick little gameplay and show you guys how the mic sounds. I'm gonna upload that video separately. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in this headset.